Hey guys, Positive here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on some auto loader tips and tricks to help you guys improve your play when you're playing auto loaders. And when I say auto loaders, I don't mean like the sissy auto loaders like the MT25, which literally unloads in like one second. I'm talking about like an actual down to earth, honest to goodness auto loader like the AMX 5100 or like pretty much any of the French tanks in general or like the T57 Heavy. So without further ado, let's get started. And our first tip is to reload, reload, and reload some more. Because I've just seen so many clips of people who run around with two or even one shell in the clip remaining. And it's just such a massive mistake because as an auto loader, your primary strength is the fact that you can pretty much out trade anything on the battlefield and assassinate low health targets. But that's only if you have a full magazine. That, that advantage disappears if you only have part of your magazine left. And that's why generally as a rule of thumb, what I like to suggest is if you can't write the name of your next target on your next shell, you should probably be reloading. Even if you have two shells left, you should still reload because two shells just doesn't have the same kind of impact that three or even four shells has. Tip number two for today is target selection. So oftentimes when you're playing an auto loader, you'll find that you have too many enemies and not enough shells. So the question always becomes, what do you do? Let's take this simple scenario as an example. You're about to come out of reload on your Lorraine. Who do you shoot at? Well, the key is to really know that the Lorraine has 900 clip potential. That means if you go for the Chieftain, you're probably not going to destroy him in a single magazine. However, if you go for the Yacht Panther, that means that you can probably kill him in three shots and still have one left over for the Chieftain. So that's exactly what we're going to do. You can see that pretty much like, even though I'm not done reloading, I decided to roll out of cover to make maximum use of that reload times. And then we put one, two, and the third into that Yacht Panther, and we've still got one left over. So we're just gonna hold it for now because this Chieftain's gonna come back out and let us fire the last shell. Perfect. But oftentimes, you're gonna have to make decisions pretty much on the fly because as we all know, you can't really pause this game. So here from the, this bot that I've just finished firing at the mouse, who do I go for now? Well, that's a trick question because the target I should go for has only just been spotted. It's this Leopard PTA who's just been spotted on the right. Instead of going for the mouse, I go for the PTA because I can clip the PTA and save my IS-7 buddy there instead of wasting shots on this very difficult to penetrate mouse, as you can see. So here's a list of targets from most preferred down to least preferred. And this should help you make your decisions when you're playing your auto loaders. But of course it is important to keep in mind that of course your target selection should vary from situation to situation. So always keep that in mind. Now tip number three is to close the distance. So it's kind of a misconception that you should play auto loaders from long range. And I see the, lot, I see the reasoning behind this because oh your paper, you're afraid of taking hits. But believe it or not, auto loaders are actually most efficient at close range because at close range is where the enemy cannot get away from you. Once you've picked your victim, feel like do whatever you can to close the distance because when you play at long range, it's really easy for the enemy to take cover, for the enemy to bounce your shots, and that makes your auto loader far less effective than like a single shot tank that actually has armor. So you can see in all these clips, this is basically how you want to play your auto loader. Sure you take one for starting engagement, but then you give three back in return. And this pretty much leaves your enemy with just no chance to escape. And it's why, especially in tanks like the 50B, like the 4005, and other kind of like these large, large tanks with not very much turret armor, it's why you should close the distance whenever you get the chance. That way you can pick up these quick kills where the enemy can't get away. Like, sure, these 252Us, these FB2 and 5Bs, they might be strong, but they're no match for an auto loader in close distance. Now, when you're playing an auto loader, your primary mission is to get your entire clip out whenever you can. And really there's no better way to help you clip out better than if you hit them in the tracks. Now, hitting them in the tracks is nice if you're in a single shooter tank, because like you take the tracks off, force them to waste your repair kit, but then they get away from you. Well, if you're playing an auto loader, it's a little bit of a different story, because when you take their tracks off, even if they put them back on, you should, be have, you should have another shell available just to take them right back off. Basically, once you've got an enemy lined up in your sights and you take their tracks off and you're playing an auto loader, there's pretty much no way that they're gonna get away from you at that point. Now, because of this fact, it's pretty much vital that whenever you get the chance, you always take the time to try and aim at their drive wheel, especially like front or rear, or at least at the top band of their tracks because 
that will take the tracks off and that will allow you to unload the full clip. And it's just like trying to close the distance. Whatever you can do to really make sure that the enemy can't get away from that full 1000 damage or whatever you're dealing, anything helps. Because anything you can do to get your full clip out is going to really take you one step closer to winning. And tip number five is trigger discipline. Now if you really must insist on playing your autoloader at long distance, you're really going to have to know exactly how much time you have to fire off how many shots. Because otherwise, oftentimes, staying for that third shell is detrimental to your health in the long term. So it's really up to you to have that sort of trigger discipline and know exactly how long you can stay exposed in front of the enemy before they slam you back with an unhappy response. So like take this scenario for example, I've got time to hit this gorilla once, twice, and I pull back because if I stay for the third, he's gonna slam me for a thousand. In the same case, the botch it here. So like I spot off this Yacht Conjurer, and I've got time for one because he's gonna spot me here, and then I have time for another one. But like if I stay for the third, he'll have me lined up and I'll take another thousand for that. And tip number six, shoot distracted drivers. Now distracted drivers are usually terrible people, both in real life and in Blitz. So you should do your best to put them out of their misery. Because when you shoot people who are preoccupied with something else, they give you nice easy shots on their sides and rear. And that allows you to dump your full clip, as pretty much half the tips on this list do. Like this team, auto loaders that are also clipping out, perfect targets, because they're usually too busy focused on trying to shoot whatever they're shooting that they might not notice that you're hitting them for a nice 930 in the side. And then slow tanks that are trying to get somewhere, also perfect targets to be annoying too. Except it's a little more than annoying because it's half of his health. So there's another free clip. And also, like people who just generally don't know that they can be shot also happen to make fantastic targets. So yeah, shoot distracted drivers. Easy damage. And tip number seven is look for isolations. And this might be one of the most important tips on this list because a lot of these things don't work if you're getting shot at by like three tanks at once. But if you can find those tanks that have little to no support, then you can really trade efficiently because you can trade three shells for each of their one shell. And that's why looking for these isolations around the map is really important. No matter how small, they're always there pretty much. So I just take this for example. So even though this, this guy might not look isolated, he actually is. There's no one who can save him as I dump three easy shells into his front side. He just fired, so there's nothing you can do. And that's basically all it takes to really play an auto loader effectively. If you can find those isolations around the map, it makes you so much more lethal. And don't be afraid to actively hunt them out. If you've got the HP to play with, oftentimes just taking like maybe a hit from them is totally worth it because like I said, you're an auto loader. You can trade three in return. And that's something that a single shot tank just can't do when you really find these sorts of little advantages all across the map and these opportunities to really take someone out. Like, for example, this Jock Punter, like he's got an IS-7 probably just 50 meters away, but he's isolated now. And that's why me and this Botchet, we can go straight for him. And actually we drop him down towards a one shot. So you always have to keep a sharp eye out for these sorts of little opportunities. But if you do, it's sure to pay off. And there you have it. That is Positive's seven tips to play an auto loader like a pro. I really got, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry about the late upload. I've been kind of busy with school. Also, um, I just started a new Twitch channel. Uh, link in the description. Feel free to check it out. So now that I'm back in school, um, like I'll be posting on YouTube a little less often than I did over the summer because I'll be kind of busy. So whenever I kind of get the time to play this game for an extended period of time, I will be streaming on Twitch. So be sure to check that out. And other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and bye.